you've been on the internet before, you've probably heard of multi-tools. Well, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you have made a multi-tool before and you're wanting to level it up. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a GUI in C Sharp and I make a Discord multi-tool, which allows you to send webhooks and can easily be transformed into a webhook spammer. That being said, let's get into it. Alrighty, so before we can start to make this amazing GUI that I have made and you're going to make by the end of this video, you're going to need a couple things. You're going to need to install the .NET framework and you're also going to want to install Visual Studio. Now the purple one, not the pink one, uh, blue one, sorry. Alrighty, so once you've opened Visual Studio, you want to go to create a new project and you want to go to win forms app, press next. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it skin discord send uh, mol tool all right so once you're in here you're gonna see this once it's fully loaded this is your form now c sharp is pretty cool because you can just build things all right so in this multi-tool tutorial all we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go to view and go to toolbox like so wait for this to initialize and then as you can see you can drag and drop to build the gui pretty cool so we're gonna add two buttons to start off with and make them pretty pretty big um chuck them like here okay oops sorry didn't mean to double click we just want to right click on it go to properties and this is where we can change things so we're going to come down to text we're going to change this to send web hook like so and then here we're just going to press reset pretty cool um you can customize these more you know you can change like the font the color um you can do all sorts of things they're pretty cool but anyway enough being said we're also gonna change the background color because this white's kind of ugly and you know you skids love a little uh, love it when it's dark gray so we're gonna do that pretty cool um we're gonna come down to here and we're gonna grab a label um where's label there it is okay and now this is what we're gonna do to make a cool hacker logo oh shit don't don't change that uh text here SC multi tool. Oh, well, actually, no, we're gonna call it the Discord. Pretty cool. Um, you can choose a custom font. You just gotta remember if you're sharing this with the friends, they're gonna need the font installed. So it's recommended to pick like a one that everyone has, but you know, let's try this one. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Um, then you wanna come down here to change the size. I'm gonna change this to like 38. Oh, we'll make it a bit bigger. Let's do 42. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, we can change the color. So we might just do like pink, hot, actually no. Nah. Let's do, let's do a lighter one. Um, You can do custom colors because this is RGB, right? So just change it to whatever value you want. And you don't have to use the preset ones. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a lot of it done. Now we just want to add a text box. So this is going to be text box, make it a bit bigger like so. And then we also want to add our label like this and this is just gonna be like I don't know um where is it here uh, we can do title and we'll make this one like that red yeah that looks pretty cool um we can do bold make it a bit bigger let's do 15 yeah that looks pretty dab all right so C control V copy and pasting knowing you guys are probably familiar with it but um, oh shit, didn't mean to double click that. We're gonna change this one to message. We'll just center it again, make it look pretty cool. And then this one's gonna be for the URL. So this that's pretty much it. Um, You can add things like images to webhooks. Oh, that does not look centered. Why is that? Okay, you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna have an uncentered wonky looking multi-tool but yeah that's pretty much it um what we can do is we can do i think we're able to customize when we click it like the color or the hover color all right i can't find it but don't worry but yeah so if we run this like this you should be able to see that this this is our multi-tool right this is the gui we can't we are going to customize the title of course and we're going to make it actually work but as you can see like this all works pretty well, right? So that's pretty cool. That's why I like C Sharp a lot. If you want to make a GUI, you can kind of just throw it up like that. But yeah, so let's get started by we're gonna change the um titles, which should do this dot text equals SC sender. Pretty cool. So when we run it, just checking. Yep, there we go. I'm changing this to Discord tool. I do sender. 
Discord tool. Now this is button two, as you can see here when I click it, so I'm gonna double click it, button two dot click, and we're gonna get all the labels. So we're gonna do, what's it? It's text box, sorry. Text box, oh, go down, text equals blank. So let me just change this to two and three. Pretty cool. So if we test this now, the reset button should work. Um, let's put random stuff in here. Reset, pretty dab, you know. So yeah, that, that works really well. Okay, so now we're gonna make the function to send the webhook. So text box one is title, two is message, three is URL, just remember that. So we're gonna do string title equals text box one dot text message equals text box two dot text like that. And then we're gonna do, oh shit, tab and then URL equals text box three. And don't forget to add the little semicolon at the end. Now, before we do that, you're gonna to wanna to add a few like includes. Um, we're gonna be using these to send the HTTP request to the webhook. Okay, so after you do that, you wanna make this if statement. And basically what this is checking is if URL is blank, then it's gonna show an error. So we can actually just test this really quickly by press send webhook. It's gonna say, please enter a valid webhook URL. Um, you know, but if we do that, then it doesn't give the error. So it's just checking if that's empty. Um, you can do like, you can customize this. If you don't want it to be an error icon, you can do um, warning. And then if we run this again, you know, it gives us a warning. So like all different things you can do. But yeah, let's, let's continue. All right, so after you do that, you wanna write these lines. So we're defining the HTTP client as client, um, like so. Then we're making our JSON payload. So for those of you who don't know, Payload is kind of what you attach to a uh, request and that contains more data, right? So as you can see, it's containing the content, which then we define, pass through the title and the message, which is just that title and message like up here. Pretty cool. And then after that, we're doing try and catch statement. So that means if we cannot send it to the URL, we get an error, we catch, rather than the program just crashing or not working, right? We're trying to send it and then the response is what we get after we send it. Um, the reason we're doing a sync is so you can send multiple at once. Um, so you can just like spam click it if you want. Um, if we get a success status code, so 200, then it's gonna say it successfully sent the webhook and we're gonna get a little notification. Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can comment it out. I mean, it makes it a bit hard to spam it if you don't want to. I don't think you can do to spam is you put this in a loop, right? I'm not gonna do it for this video because I really don't want this video getting taken down, but you just wanna put this in a while true loop and it will just keep spamming and spamming and spamming. You will eventually get rate limited. So you're gonna have to like find a way to make random strings and pass it through. That's just a little extension program project for you guys so try it out if you want to but yeah after the if if it is successful then we print that else if it's not successful then we say failed send webhook reason and just an alert uh the catch is if we can't send it all right like say something is generally going to be triggered if something's wrong with like our intent or something and that's going to send this one but yeah pretty cool so we can actually test this now oh okay okay so i just tried to run it but there was this error um basically it's because we're using a sync here all you want to do is you want to come up here um and do a sync like so. And that will get rid of that error. Pretty cool. And if we just run this, as you can see, it runs successfully. So we can choose a title. I might do web book tutorial. This is a message for the web. And then you need your webhook URL. So I'm just gonna get one. Okay, so something I kind of realized you can do, and it's kind of cool, is if you wanna block out the webhook url you can just put an asterisk here pretty cool so i'm just gonna close it and run it again but as you can see when i type the url it's hidden um now the reason that's cool is because obviously i don't want you guys finding this url because i know you guys you guys uh, you think you're funny and <laughs> um yeah uh so that's kind of cool like if you're showing a video of you like spamming or whatever you can hide the url so that's my URL and it will send it here in the Discord. If you are not in the Discord, be sure to join. But yeah, we're gonna press send webhook. As you can see, sent successfully, and there we go. We can just spam it, you know. Obviously, this probably isn't the best way to spam it. Like I said, you wanna put a loop. So that's kind of it for this tutorial. If you need help, join the Discord, as I said, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, lots of people in here, lots of good people. Um, yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter. And yeah, thanks for watching.